decorator and I love the fashion world. Um, and I think my day has been quite dynamic and busy and actually caught me off guard a little bit. And I had to be, I had to find moments to pause and be present and remember why I'm doing what I do. I'm inspired by my son and I, it just gives me so much inspiration. Um, as a curator, it, it's inspiring to constantly be looking for the next artist that will be, um, you know, in, we can introduce into the art sector in Africa. And I'm inspired by this. I'm inspired by the authenticity that art off offers us in Africa. Our creatives are really authentic to their everyday experiences. And through that, we get to really connect with our truth and what it is that we're um, seeing and the development and the growth on the continent. So with all of that going on, I always have to start my day with a meditation and some prayer. And then I have my hot water and lemon um, just to cleanse and prepare my body and a little bit of yoga. I always incorporate some kind of stretching, even in the shower, um, because that just means that I'm moving and, and, and really preparing my body and my spirit um, for a, a really deliberately um, fantastic day. So one beauty product that I cannot go a day without is my fat water from Fenty. I love to feel hydrated and that my skin stays moist and I really go every day with that. And um, in terms of contemporary art in Africa, I believe we're going into a new place in terms of really appreciating the value of African contemporary art. And I think we're looking at um, economic value and developing our artists um, from a perspective of really determining the price of their art. I'm inspired by young people all the time. I'm, I don't know that I'm necessarily still so young, but to my younger self, I will urge my younger me to never, ever, ever compromise on your worth. Never compromise on your worth. Always know what that you bring something into the world, that you bring something to it and an opportunity and never second guess yourself. To my older self, I would still say, keep um, breaking the ceiling, keep pushing for um, you know that seat at the table because we all deserve a seat at the table. We all deserve to be heard. And um, I really believe that that is something that women around the world, African women, African American women, need to continue to work together to, to really create this community that um, allows us to, you know, acknowledge and see each other um, as we are.